Hi everyone and welcome to this new Mystica VR tutorial. In this video we are going to see how to move a whole project to a different system. So let's get started. There are several ways to move your project material. Which one to use will depend on the complexity of your project. Let's start with the most basic one. Let's say you are interested in moving only one stitching. You are in a hurry and you cannot waste time. Go to the clip stack, do right click and select save preset. So you will save your stitching as a preset. The preset file saves all the information in the stitching. For example, I decided I needed these two edge points and I also like this color grading. I will send this file to the new system to make all those settings available. Later I will explain how to load the preset. There are some users that instead of having one project for each shooting, they have projects that work as templates. Let me explain. Instead of having one project, they have templates with different resolution and different FPS. I have an 8K project, an HD project and UHD project. In this case, I recommend you save only the environment by going to File, Save Sequence As and Save the Environment, then send it to your new system. Then I will explain how you can load this environment into a new project. Let's say that you have a complex project and you want to save the whole project material. So in this case, I have installed Mystica VR with the default configuration. So I'll go to my user, which is called testing in this system, SEO data and projects. There I have all my project and there I can see the environment I'm using. I will copy the folder of the project I'm using. For easier management, I will do a zip file. Let's say that I'm at home now, cozy and comfy. First and foremost, I have to move the license from the old system to the new one. Let's open the SDO activation tool, log in with my username and my password and enter the advanced mode. Cool, in the right part, you can see the systems that are associated with your SDO account. So I will drag and drop the license from the old system to the local one, which is the one I'm currently using. I'm in the local system, so I drag and dropped the license to the icon of the local system. So there it is one and I will click on the on this new license and I will drag and drop it again. I will wait and then when it's all settled, I will be able to start Mystica Apps in this system. As soon as it is finished, I can see that in the system I have available my two licenses. Now that I'm in the new system and I have moved the licenses, I will do the import of the preset, given the case that I'm on a simple project. So I will create my own project and I will load the media I was using in the previous system. Let me look for it, please. It's this one. So I will load the media and then, all right, I will press on continue. And now I will drag and drop the preset into the visual editor of Mystica VR, which is over here. And I will now drag and drop it. And great. Now I have all my stitching in this new system. You, we can see that there are my edge points and also the color reading I did in the previous system. There is another way in which you can load the preset, which is when you are loading the media, there's a menu in which you can decide to use a default preset. Cool, I will select this option and I will look for it. I will navigate in my browser and there is my preset and I will open it and I will click on continue and great. This is the second way in which you can use the preset when importing your media into Mystica VR. Now let's explain how to load the environment in the case you have projects that work as templates. First, I will create a few different projects. For example, an HD project. Cool. 
Now I will create a different project with a different resolution, for example, UHD resolution. And I will also change the FPS to 29. All right, now I will create a different project with an 8K resolution, for example. So let me write 8K and 50 FPS, just for the sake of this tutorial. Cool, I will select the resolution at the FPS. Nice, now I will go to File, Load Sequence, and I will load the sequence from my previous system, which is here, I will click on Open, and now I have in my 8K resolution project, I have loaded the stitchings of my previous system. In this case, I have my media located on an external drive. Because of that, I didn't have to relink the media, because Mystica VR could find that the media is located in the same external drive. I will explain later how you can relink your media in Mystica VR. Great, now I will explain how you can paste the project folder. In this case, I also installed Mystica VR with the default configuration. So I will copy the folder of the previous system and I will go to the users folder, go to users, go to my user, which is called Mystica in this system, go to SEO data and projects. Here I will paste the project. So next time I open Mystica VR, let's do it. And I open the project manager, I can see available the project I just pasted. Final step, everybody, let's open the project I just imported and relink in the media. Great, so as soon as you start, Mystica will ask you for one particular file to look for it. So I will open the browser and I will look for that exact file in my media. So let me look for it, which is this one. Great, I will click in open and click on relink. So Mystica will start looking for the rest of them automatically. As you can see, Mystica VR already linked all the media. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you want to keep up with the news about Mystica VR. Enjoy Mystica!